All right, here we have a paper on combining like terms and distribution mixed with combining like terms. It looks like a lot of work, but don't worry, it's just two columns of work with their answers next to it. So, let's start off with the simplest one. I have 7x plus 6 plus 2x plus 5. Uh, if you'll remember from the other side, we're going to circle any um, variables that we have any common things that we have and either square or underline the second thing that we have. So these are like terms that I can add together 9x, 6 and 5 is 11. So for E I have 9x plus 11. So I'm going to look over here in this column for that answer and it's right here 22. So 22 is going to be E. Go down to the bottom find the number 22 and I put an E in for it. And then I'm going to tr cross this off as an answer choice. Alright, let's do one that's a little more difficult. Let's go all the way down here. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's do this one and then I'll do one with a fraction somewhere else. <laughs> so I have uh, 8x, there's an x, I have 75x, and I have 4x. Now I have three like terms that I can add together. So 8 and 75 is 83x's. 83 plus 4 is 87x's. You don't have to take my word for it. You can actually do it yourself. Use your calculators. Um, now remember that on these you cannot put variables in for um, you don't want to put in 8x, 75x, and 4x. If you do that, no matter um, how big the numbers are, you're going to end up getting, oh, I put a 75 in there, so it's, that messed that up. So I put in an x in there and apparently there's an answer in here from before and it's assuming that x is a specific number. I'll check in y equals, aha, there we go, it thinks I'm doing that. So if I clear my calculator maybe I can give you a little better idea of what we're doing. Like I said, when I do 8x plus 75x plus 4x. I'm going to end up with 0 because without any other information in the calculator it's going to assume that x is 0 for each of these. So 8 times x is 0 plus 75x is 0 plus 4, um, 4 times 0 is 0. So 0 plus 0 is 0 is 0. So make sure you don't use, even though this says 8x, I'm just going to put 8 in the calculator. I'm just going to put 75 in the calculator and I'm just going to put 4 in the calculator. But make sure when you write down that 87 that you know it's 87 X's. Alright? So then I can add my other terms together. Whoops, I don't want to already use the circle so I'm not going to use the circle again. So 30 Y's plus 16 Y's, that's just 46 Y's. So here's 87 X plus 46 Y's, so number 28 will be an O. So on this other side, we're dealing with some squares. Don't be intimidated by them. I'll do one of the harder ones. Um, a square is not the same as a non-square. So let's start with something simple. I have 2a squared plus 5a plus a squared plus 5a plus 9. So watch what I do here. It's very important. 2a squared and a squared these are my only terms that I can add together. And a squared is not the same as an a. So 2a squared plus an a squared, that's 3a's squared. We always assume there's a 1 in front if there's no other number attached to a letter. Plus, I have a 5a. I have another 5a. So that's 10a's. 5 plus 5 is 10. 
And then I just have this 9 hanging out. So look over here. I have 3a squared plus 10a plus 9. So number 8 will be t. And now let's get into some of these um, really long, really hard distributions. Remember, distribution means that I have to multiply each term on the inside of the parentheses by what's on the outside, as long as it doesn't have another operation in between. So 5 times n is 5n's, plus 5 times 2 is 10, and I don't have anything to multiply these by, so they're just going to carry down. So I have 5n's, I have 8n's. That's 13 n's. I have a 10 and a 1, so that's 11. So I have 13 n plus 11. So number 13 is going to be a t. So let's go do a really hard one. Let's go really, really hard on this one. So I have 3t squared. I'm going to multiply this whole term by a t. Now remember, when I, when I multiply two of the same numbers to get same letters together, it's going to increase the exponent of it. So I have a 3t squared here because there's nothing to change that. When I multiply a t times 4 t's, then I have 4 because there's no number to change it, but the t times a t is going to be a t squared. Remember, a t times a t is the same as a 2 times a 2. 2 times 2 is the same as 2 squared, so t times t is the same as t squared. If I multiply 3 t 2's together, that would be 2 cubed. So if I multiply 3 t's together, that would be t cubed. So you have to be careful with those. So I still have to do this t times a w, that's just tw plus 8tw plus w squared. Now I know I made a mess down here, so I'm going to bring in a little post-it to finish this work. So first, let's circle. There's a t squared. There's, whoops, I need that um, plus in there. There's a t squared. There are no more t squares. The w squared, but no more t squareds. So 3t squared plus 4t squared is 7t squared. Notice the exponent doesn't change, just the numbers. Now I have a tw, a added tw, and I add 8 more tw's. So that's a total of 9 tw's. Exponents don't change when I'm adding. And I have nothing else, so that's going to be a w squared. If I look up here, I see that I have t squared plus 8tw t squared plus 8tw plus 2w squared. I have 2w squared? tw, nope, that's not it. w squared well it should be up there. Yep, there it is right there, I'm sorry. So 27 is letter L. Kind of got lost there. All right, so don't get nervous about these. Just make sure you're multiplying each term. Make sure you're multiplying each term. Remember, exponents don't change when you multiply numbers. They only change when you multiply letters. So t times t is going to be a t squared. A 5 times t squared is going to be a 5t squared. So be careful when you're doing these. Remember that uh, two letters multiplied by each times each other, the same letter times each other, is going to increase the exponent. So t times t is t squared, t times t times t is t cubed, just like 2 times 2 is 2 squared, and 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 cubed. So just be careful, combine your like terms, remember that a t squared will only add to another t squared, a tw can add to a tw, and a w squared can add to another w squared, but I cannot add any of these, can't add these to any of the others. They have to look exactly the same before I can add them. The only thing that can be different is the number that's in front. And if there is no number, we can assume it's a 1.